Hi, in this video, we'll have two examples on vector addition. Our first problem is here, given with the figure below, form five vector equations using the concept of polygon method. So take note, it's asking for five equations, vector equations, using this figure. And again, I repeat, um, when we say resultant vector, it means to say a vector sum of two or more vectors. And you could able to recognize that resultant vector, it's because nasa kamit ng one vector. Okay, so here, our first equation would be, if you'll notice, if you are going to add A plus B plus C, the resultant vector is D vector. So you'll have A plus B plus C vector is equal to D vector. If you'll notice, a resultant can I katagbo ng isa ka vector. And you can able to notice also ang mga addends kay gisumpay sumpay lang A plus B plus C. Next, for the second equation, if you'll notice, if you'll try to add A plus B, the resultant vector is the E vector. So you'll have A plus B vector. The resultant vector for this case is your E vector. Next, for numbers, equation number three, rather, if you'll try to add E plus C, the resultant vector is D. So E plus C vector, that is simply equal to D vector. Fourth, okay, let's try to look at this one. B plus C, the resultant vector is F. So B plus C vector, the resultant is F. And lastly, for the fifth equation, that would be whoops, A plus F is equal to D. So you'll have A plus F vector F is equal to D vector. So this will be the second example on vector addition. The vectors are shown in the figure find the following. You'll have a plus b vector. For letter b, you'll have a minus b vector. Mag the vector a has a magnitude of 7 meters pointing towards negative x-axis, while b vector is lying along the first quadrant with magnitude 20 meters and a direction of 37 degrees north of east. So first things first is that you need to find the x and y components of each of the vectors. A table here. First, um, in order, this column here is for x components and you'll have for y components. You'll have ax, bx, ay, by. Okay, so let's um, find the components of your a, vector a. So you'll have, if you'll notice, it's purely vertical. So it points towards negative x direction so you'll have here negative seven meters okay i hot so the solution for that one would be your a cosine 180 okay so the answer would be seven cosine 180 so the answer would be negative seven meters i hot or it can be written as of this form seven meters negative i hot okay and if you'll notice it's y component there's no y component for your a vector so that means to say that's equal to zero or the solution for that one would be a sine 180 degrees so sine 187 meters sine 180 that would be equal to zero next for your b vector if you'll notice we'll have to use component uh we'll have to use trigonometric functions for this one so i'm going to okay all you have to do is to yes enclose your angle 37 through a triangle okay 
So this will be your vertical component mano. So this will be your BY rather. And then also for your BX, okay, the horizontal, if you'll notice. Okay, this will be your horizontal component. Okay, so this will be your BY. I mean, rather BX. Okay, so here. This will be your BY. It's on the opposite of your angle 37. And this will be your BX. Okay, so can you, this will be your hypotenuse. So you'll have your BX. It's on the adjacent side of angle 37. So again, I repeat, all you have to do is to remember these two things. Trigonometric functions, so ka. So it's on the adjacent side, so meaning to say cosine. So you'll have here 20 meters cosine 37. Okay, so the answer will be um, 16 meters. And then on the other hand, you'll have if you'll try to check your BY, it's on the opposite side of angle 37, so opposite, so meaning to say sine. So you'll have 20 meters sine 37. So the answer would be 12 meters. So you'll have 12 meters. I forgot to put unit vectors for that one, J hat and I hat. That would be positive. It's along positive x axis and then moving upward along positive y-axis. Okay, so here it's looking for, for letter A, it's looking for A plus B vector. So all you have to do is simply you'll have, it's looking for A plus B vector. So take note that A vector can be written as of this form, negative 7 meters I hot plus 0. Okay plus the b vector, the components of your b vector is 16 meters i hat plus 12 meters j hat. So all you have to do is to combine like terms. So you'll have here negative 7 plus 16 meters. That would be equal to 9 meters i hat. Okay, and then plus, you'll have 0 plus 12 meters j hat. So that would be 12 meters j hot. So if you'll notice, both of the components are positive. So the resultant vector between A and B is simply lying along the first quadrant. Okay, next for letter B, you'll have it's looking for A minus B vector. So we'll use the same components so you'll have here for letter b you'll have here for b it's asking for a minus b vector okay we'll have the same components you'll have seven meters i hot plus zero j hot Minus, you'll have 16 meters I hot plus 12 meters J hot, enclosed in a parenthesis. So the answer would be, you'll have negative 7 minus 16 meters, that would be 23, yes. Negative 23 meters I hot, and then you'll have 0 minus 12 meters, so you'll have minus 12 meters j hot. So take note that this can be written as of this form. You'll have 23 meters negative i hot plus 12 meters and then you'll have negative j hot. Okay, both of the components are lying along, are, are rather negative, are negative components. So meaning to say that it's lying along the third quadrant.
Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.